Hi, today we're going to be talking about the way we wear makeup can actually age us. So I'm going to uh, show you on one side how you should wear your makeup and on the other side the makeup techniques that we might use that age us and we should not do. And at the very end I'll be giving you my top tip for a beautiful, luminous makeup that's not going to age you. So let's hop straight into it. And I would like to begin with foundation. So as you get a bit older, I, I find less is more. Sometimes you just need to pop foundation on certain areas of the face. This is if, you know, it's just an everyday going out to the shops kind of thing. Um, sometimes you just need to apply it where it needs to be applied, certain areas that need a little bit of concealing. Uh, but I think just less is more, so don't cake it on. The other um, idea is don't over conceal. So I do like to use a concealer under my eyes occasionally, not all the time. Sometimes I find I just actually pop a little bit of my foundation on and just, just pop it under my eyes where I feel and around the dark areas of my eyes where I feel that I need it. And if I've got any marks, I don't know, I have a, I have a little mark there so I would put it there. Oh, I've got some on my hair. And just blend that in first before I apply my foundation anywhere else. And see how that's just already lightened up that area under my eyes. So then I would apply a little bit more and I've only, I've only really used one pump. Honestly, less is more. But as you can see, I am smoothing it everywhere because the warmth of my hands are actually, is actually helping to blend it into my skin. Now, if I feel like I need some more, I can just do another little bit. Just go, just work with it in little, little bits. Blending, 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 massaging it into your skin everywhere. Don't forget the little area under your nose. There we go. Now, if I felt that I hadn't completely um, covered little, little things, just a tiny little bit, and as I said, I've got this little, this little mark on my nose, so I'm just patting that in. There we go. Just so that's diminished a little bit. So there we go. Remember under the neck, take it down. And that is the first thing. The next thing is not to over, over, not to add too much blush. So you do need a little bit of blush, but not too much. And also, okay, let me show you if I do apply too much and if I apply it in the wrong area. So this is going to be my too much side. Okay, so this is going to be my other side. You really just want, you're thinking soft, soft and luminous whenever you're doing this, soft and luminous. Probably just put a little bit more higher up. There you go. Okay. Number three, don't, don't contour anymore. Really, as we age, we need that plumpness and contouring actually makes your, your features more chiseled, more um, pronounced. So you're not really wanting that. You're wanting to have that luminous, plump, 
sort of look. So no contouring. If you must contour, and I will show you um, the wrong way to contour. So say I'm using bronzer. Um, now it would be all right to contour on your forehead. Okay, that is okay. That's fine. That's really fine. And that, that can actually shorten a too high forehead. But if you're going to contour too much, even though it might be done well, it's going to see how it see how it makes makes it a bit hollow. You don't want that. You want you want it to be lifted and up. So that would be okay, that would be okay, but not that. The next one is eyebrows. Eyebrows are amazing. They absolutely frame the face. They change your look dramatically. Um, so you don't want too thin, you don't want too thick, and you don't want a heavy, um, like that heavy blocked look. That is very, very aging. What I'm going to show you is with a brow dust, how, so brush your eyes, brush your eyebrows up. So now microblading is all the rage and I think it's absolutely fantastic if you, if you over, I'm just going to show you. We just want to do really light feathery, feathery strokes. This is, these really, honestly, eyebrows really change change the look. Uh, mine are fairly dark anyway, so it's not going to change me dramatically, but believe me, when I didn't have any eyebrows, when I was going through chemotherapy, it made a huge difference to just apply the, this um, powder onto my eyebrows. But see how it's just making them not look unnatural, which is what we don't want, we don't want that heavy block. Um, so if you are going to have your eyebrows microbladed, then you really need to go somewhere very, very reputable. So you can see that I've actually applied, I've used a pencil to draw on this eyebrow. See how it's just too dark, whereas this one, which I've used the brow dust, and I've just applied it in feathery, feathery strokes with a little brush, it's quite different. And I think it's heavy, and even if I, even if I brush it in a little bit, it's still too heavy. It's just not right, is it? Anyway, um, so no block, heavy block eyebrows. That's a big no-no. The, um, the other thing is eyeliner. So let me show you. Okay, lining on the inside, the complete waterline. will close in an eye. So lining along the waterline will really close your eye and it's quite aging and also using black. Look, you can use black for a particular look. Um, I'm just gonna, it's too heavy. It's, too, it's just too heavy and um, even if I'm trying to do a very nice line, it's just a bit heavy and it's quite a bit aging. So swap to a brown and let's just, don't go across 
the whole way. Just do the outer corners and I really like using a soft brown eyeshadow around the eyes and even at night I might use a little sparkly brown if you if you're going to use if you want to have your eyes lined then go brown and light so that it's just a lot a lot softer as you can see that's just quite different even when I've tried to soften that okay and please 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 mascara some people think that they've got eyeliner on and they don't need any mascara let me just show you what a difference mascara makes it absolutely it finishes off a makeup I just I don't get why people don't wear mascara you don't have to get a mascara that absolutely um, for, for day wear that is you don't have to get a mascara that's going to um, uh, just be too thick or heavy and but just one that does make a difference and as you can see that eye looks better than that eye so I am going to didn't mean to get mascara there I'm sorry about that just trying to get rid of it okay so that looks quite soft now. The other thing is um, heavy lips. Although I must say I really do like a nice bright lip to liven up the face. So I am a beautiful soft pink is lovely. Or There you go, wrong, right. What do you think? And now for my top tip, but thank you first for joining me on this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, um, head to our website and sign up for email, share us with your friends and please join us um, in the next video. So my top tip uh, for a beautiful makeup, um, which is uh, not aging, is at the very end of my makeup, I like to do a little pump of uh, moisturizer. And what I do is I just press it, press it into my cheeks because a beautiful makeup is always dewy and fresh and this gives you a lovely glow. So wrong, right.